Hello, today I will be showing you how to inventory your first day cover collections in Easy Stamp. Easy Stamp provides values for most common official first day covers for any given stamp, but there can be many, many different types of first day covers for any stamp. There can be different cachet makers, combination covers, specialty covers, all sorts of different types. Easy Stamp can handle them all with ease. Let's begin with an example of a supplied first day cover in the US database, Scott number 1053, the $5 Hamilton stamp. So we'll first bring that up. As you can see, I've already inventoried a single and the official first day cover in the grades tab. We are in the process of uh, scanning all the U.S. first day covers we have and we will be adding them over time. As of today we have about 100 first day cover images in the U.S. database and we will add more as time goes on. We are, um, we've also added about 1100 Canadian uh, covers that we've scanned so those are already in the database. Now for this stamp there are many different covers available. I've already pre-scanned two others and have saved them to the to the hard drive in the images slash USA slash UFDC folder. The U stands for users FDC folder. To add another first day cover to this Scott number we need to go to the FDC tab by clicking here and then double click in this area here or we could have easily right clicked on the uh, on the blank area and click on quit edit, quick edit which will get us to the same thing. The only required item that we need to enter is the uh, um, first day cover number but the first thing we need to do is click on the plus sign and then we enter the first day cover number which I'll enter as a one. You can enter a description if you like for the first day cover maker or cache maker I will select the Fleetwood Oops. and then we enter a value and a quantity let's move this over a bit and now we'll click on the link a new image now as I mentioned I'd already scanned a couple of covers so there's the one that I want to use I click OK and I save that one and as you can see we've got that here now you say well yeah but I don't see the image well you need a special image viewer to do that Oops, so we go to view, and there's our first day cover image. Now if we want to add another cover, we simply right click, sorry, double click here, click on the plus sign. Now we can copy the row that was above, um, or we can just enter it new. I'll show you how to just copy it. So select, select that row and then go to edit duplicate row now we duplicated everything I'll change that to a FTC number of two this time we'll select an art craft we'll change the value and change that and we'll link a different image and we'll choose this one click OK and save it as you can see, as you switch back and forth, the images will change accordingly. Now, one thing that you may not have noticed is when you link the images, please note the path where you need to save the images. It's in the images subfolder under Easy Stamp. Under that, there will be the country name, and under that will be the UFDC area. That's for users FDC folder. Okay. So you can see how easy it is, just simply repeat the process for any other covers that we have. I usually like to have the viewer open, when, especially when I'm working on my uh, first day covers. I'll, I'll go on to a different example now. I'll add Scott number 1246. I'll close the viewer just for a second. And as you can see, I've already inventoried this stamp with a first day cover, but I haven't added any first day cover caches. So we'll go here. We'll add one. Choose a cover maker. Put in a value and a quantity. Link an image. 
as you can see this is a combination cover so you can describe it as such just type in your description and you can also enter things like buy date, buy price, sell dates and so forth for now I won't be doing that and then I'll link an image and I think I already did and we click on save and if we want to see that image there it is now another nice way to do this is you can add images from the clipboard I'm going to paste an image from, from the clipboard and let me switch back so I've now got an image in the clipboard and what I'll do is I'll add another one call this one number two and choose unknown and put in a value and this time I'll click on paste from clipboard and save it and there's my cover so as you can see it's fairly simple and fairly straightforward to quickly add your um, your first day covers if you want to see reports of the items that you've added one of the uh, nice reports to use is the line item report and as you can see there's the two covers that we've added um, now if you take a look here they're noted as grades because that is the actual type of grade that we entered in the in the system there okay that concludes this tutorial um, as you can see easy stamp provides you with multiple ways to track and inventory your first day cover collections we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial others will follow soon